गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडेज टॉपिक इज इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन लैंग्वेज डिजाइन सी लैंग्वेज डिजाइन लैंग्वेज मीन्स प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज ही आर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज आर सी सी प्लस प्लस जावा एंड सो ऑन सो वॉट आर द इन्फ्लुएंस आर इन लैंग्वेज डिजाइन सो विल सी इन दिस फेज वी हैव मेनली थ्री पॉइंट्स और थ्री फैक्टर्स the first one is computer architecture the second one is programming methodologies and the third one is virtual machine so uh, let's see the first one computer architecture see this is the diagrammatic representation so the first in this uh, diagrammatic representation the first one is memory memory means uh, what are the data what are the programs this is all uh, keep in um, memory and the first one and the and the next point is central processing unit in this central processing unit mainly two parts first one is arithmetic and logical unit so uh, what is arithmetic and logical units some arithmetic operations are done here what are the arithmetic operations like mathematical operations right you know some addition multiplication subtraction divisions or all the mathematical operations or arithmetic operations are done in arithmetic and logical units the second one is control unit see for example we have a four students like a b c d so these are all in line okay these are all in standing on the line so what are the instructions here we have to move the student a from current position to Uh, another position so this is the instruction so uh, after moving the first uh, student and the we have to move the second one after after moving the second one we have to move the third one after fourth one so this is all the program so we can't we can't move the uh, all the students at a time right we have to control all the four students we have to control all the four instructions so this is all uh, coming under control unit so uh, these main uh, these main points are uh, are in central processing unit see here uh, instructions and data this is the piping from memory to arithmetic and logical unit instructions and data so uh, in that memory we have to give the instruction to the central processing unit and that instructions are done or some program is done in that after uh, program after uh, run the program we have to get some output so the result and result of processing is again go to the memory see connection to the input and output devices so we have to give the input and after run the program we have to get the output so the main uh, main computer architecture is uh, depend upon own human architecture see computer architecture is based on own human architecture a programming language is also affected by the architecture of computer see if any programming languages are run in the Uh, pro uh, run in the computer it is all depend upon the computer architecture if it is the computer architecture is not perfect we can't do some uh, we can't do the any program it is all depend upon computer architecture see if the logic uh, in the central processing unit the arithmetic operations are not working perfectly we can't run the program we can't get the output so if the computer architecture is uh, Uh, working perfectly then programming uh, outcomes are also ca- um, perfect so how it is work see um this is the question we'll see here what is it what it is when we run the program it recite in a memory and executed by the cpu from the memory we have to give the instructions so that all the instructions are done in the cpu and we get the output from the cpu to the memory right 
and the second point is there are registers like program counter instruction registers etc program counter means we have to uh, count the programs and instruction registers means what are the instructions we have and each instruction going from memory to cpu yes so um for example uh, i want to give um, four apples so um four apples is equal to four mangoes right so first apple equal to first mango second apple is equal to second mango third apple is equal to uh, third mango fourth apple is equal to fourth mango so here uh, first um apple uh, write as a a and the first mango write as a x so a is equal to x else a not equal to x so these two instructions are uh, run in the program and the output what is the output from this program a equal to x so this is the output this is output uh, coming from uh, cpu and go to the memory this is all work this is all the program is uh, done in the cpu so in this way the program developed in languages passes through this kind of cycle from memory to cpu and the output coming and coming from cpu to memory the input coming from memory to cpu and the output coming from cpu to memory so this is the cycle you know um passes through this kind of cycles which affect the execution time of the languages if the system is a multi user it will consume a lot of time the this process is takes so much time and the first or second one is advantages and disadvantages see the first advantage data from memory and from device or access it in the same way data from memory and from device see data from memory means uh, data what is the data here four mangoes is equal to four uh, sorry four apples is equal to four mangoes so this is the data we uh, have to save in the memory so the memory from the device or access is in the same way we have to uh, save the data in the same way and the program can be stored in the small size here size is a very very particular uh, see uh, we have to give some particular size of that memory to the in the folder we can't give the too much size to the uh, that folder because the memory uh, the data must be uh, not uh, not take that much of uh, data that folder easy memory organization the third advantage is coming to the disadvantages first one is confusion between data and instructions we have to uh, we have to clear about this data what is the data and what is the instructions what is the data four mangoes and four apples this is the data what is the instructions here four apples is equal to four mangoes this is the instruction and the second one is only handle one task at a time okay there is a only one task four mangoes is equal to four apples this is a only one task it must be at a time and the third one is instruction stored in the same memory and the data can be accidentally rewritten by an error in a program this is the very very important see instruction must be stored some particular name so in the in that same memory okay we can't be uh, rewrite that same instruction in the same memory this is the error so these are the advantages and disadvantages the second factor in the influence on language design is a programming methodologies here there is a four points the first one is structured programming second one is data oriented programming and the third one is procedure oriented programming and the fourth one is object oriented programming see structured programming is an uh, 
1950s and the data oriented programming in the 1960s um, the third one is 1970 and the fourth one is 1980 so what is the structured programming this programming methodology is also called a top-down design and stepwise refinement it deficiency was incompleteness of type checking and uh, inequity of control statement which requires extensive use of go to statements see uh, the structured programming means uh, we have to stepwise what is the program you have to write the stepwise programming so we have to execute that stepwise programming this is all uh, this is all in from 90s 50s model and the coming to the data oriented it focuses on data oriented method emphasize the data design focusing on the use of abstract data types to solve the programming data oriented means it must be uh, focused on uh, data methods what is that how what is the data how it must be designed and what is the focuses on that see for example um, uh, four mangoes on four apples right so how it must how it must be right how it must be designed so four mangoes is equal to four apples right four mangoes is taken as the x y z and p and the four mangoes is taken as a b c d like so on so likewise so how it must be designed and abstract what is the abstract here four mangoes is equal to four apples this is the abstract so this is uh, and types to solve the pro problem what is the problem here four mangoes is equal to four apples to solve the program and the next one is producer uh, procedure oriented programming it is the opposite side of data oriented programming quite opposite so it is a procedure means you have to produce the program to uh, solvation of the program and the fourth one is uh, the procedure oriented program is in a uh, uh, 1970s discovered the object oriented program it gives a support for data abstraction inheritance and polymorphism the third one is a virtual machine virtual machines are softwares on which other softwares can be executed as they are executed on physical machines there are two types of virtual machines the first one is application or process virtual machine the second one is system and uh, or a hardware virtual machine the first one is application process virtual machine in this we can take an example of jvm because of jvm java is a platform independent language see java is an independent language right so we have to execute the physical machine physical machine was oh, we have to execute all the programs we have to run the program to get the output the third one is system hardware uh, virtual machine in this we can take example of virtual box which give as the ability to run multiple of operating system on a single physical machine here operating system is also a programming language which should be supported by a virtual box see this entire program is conducted in inside right in operating system many programs are must be run so in a single physical machine in a one operating system can run a lot of programs right so this is coming under system or hardware virtual machine coming to the application process virtual in this uh, java virtual machine uh, java platform is um, we have to uh, give the program instructions only so and after give instructions it must be run so this is all coming under virtual machine this is uh, uh, this is the influence of language design thank you